Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to USCFP's short video part uh, series on GR, GRE online course. The videos will help you prepare for the GRE exam, which is essential to graduate level admissions in most uni universities in the US and for the Fulbright Scholarship Program. This is video number six in the series, and today we will be covering algebra. So, algebra. Uh, is the second topic after arithmetic. Algebra is less common than the arithmetic, however, it's still widely tested in the GRE. The first question A mixture of 12 grams of vinegar and oil is 40% vinegar, where all the measurements are by weight. How many grams of oil must be added to the mixture to produce a new mixture that is only 25% vinegar? So in this question, it, it is testing our percentage and it's also testing our algebra. So one major difference between arithmetic and algebra is that whenever we start using a variable x, the thing comes algebra we it's it's uh, it comes from it becomes from arithmetic to algebra so a mixture of 12 grams of vinegar and oil is 40 percent vinegar so so initially the mixture is 40 percent vinegar so initially the mixture is 40% vinegar and we need to add oil to it to make it 25% vinegar. So initially 12 grams of vinegar we are having 40% uh, vinegar. So, 40% of 12 grams comes out to be 4.8 grams of vinegar. So, if we so if we 4.8 divided by 12 into 100, it would come out to be 40%. However, we want to reduce the percentage of the vinegar to 25 percent which means that we need to add oil to it so if we add oil to it so let's say this is o 12 plus o comes in the denominator and the um, mass of vinegar remains the same and the new percentage is 25 so if we solve for this thing so 4.8 um, 25 divided by 100 into 12 plus 44 oil so 25 divided by this comes out to be 4 so 4.8 into 4 equals 12 plus O. So 4.8 multiplied by 4. How would you do that? A faster way of multiplying this is that by partitioning the 4.8. So 5 minus 0 0.2 into 4 equals 12 plus O. So this becomes 20 minus 0 0.8. So it becomes 19.2. This is 19.2. So 19.2 uh, minus uh, 12. So the, it comes out to be O comes out to be 7.2. So this is the gram of oil that needs to be added to, to reduce the percentage of vinegar to 25%. So this 
multiplication by decomposition. It's a faster way of doing mathematics. Nowadays, this is being taught in class 3 and 4 of how to do multiply. Like most of us, or at least I used to multiply things by 4 multiply by 0.8, multiply by 4, and so on. This is a faster way of multiplying. It is uh, in the tips for GRE as well. Uh, next question. In a driving competition, Jeff and Dennis drove the same course at the average speed of 51 miles per hour and 54 miles per hour. If it took uh, Jeff 40 minutes to drive the course, how long did it take Dennis? So they drove the same course, one at different speeds. So one took 40 minutes longer. How long? Okay, so it's the same course. Let's assume that the length of the course is x miles. So x miles uh, divided by 51 is what took Jeff. And then x over 4, 454 it, it is what Dennis took. The difference between the two is in the form of uh, hours. So x over 51, the answer would be in hours. So 40 divided by 60 is the difference between the two times. So we, are, we have to find how long did Dennis take. So we have to find x over 54. This is what we have to find. So if we just find x first, so 54 into 51. This comes out to be this. Uh, 40 divided by 60. So, so x So if you just keep on simplifying, 17, so capital X equals 4 over 6 into 17 into 54. This is the complete distance, but we, we want to find what is the time that Dennis took. So this is the distance that he traveled. If you want to find the time, we would divide it by 54 because this was his speed. So if we divide by 54 and then 54, 54, it cancels out. So mm, this is 2 over 3. 2 multiplied by 17 is 34 over 3. So this is the number of hours he took. So Try to keep the use of calculator to the minimum. Next question. The fruit stand. Apple can be purchased for $0.15 and pears for $0.2. At these rates, a bag of apples and pears was purchased at $3.8. If the bag contains 21 pieces of fruit, how many of these pieces were pears? So one cost, so let's say, um, let's say a man bought A apples and P pears. So the money he spent was on apples was 0.15 into A and on pears was 0.20 P equals $3.8. Now the total money spent on the fruit uh, on the on the two total pieces bought was A plus P equals twenty one. Now we have to find the value of P. So we need to solve both of these equations simultaneously, and since we have to find P, what you do is that 
you rearrange this equation and you substitute the value of a here now your equation only has p in it so you will be able to find the number of peers next question so uh, quantity a and b so which side is bigger so the first thing is do you do is that you try to simplify this equation as much as possible so you multiply divide by both sides by 2 it comes out to be this now the next thing you do is that you think how can these quantities be equal because if you prove that these quantities are equal the first two options would go out so if you substitute 0 both these things are equal whenever you substitute don't stop there you need to substitute at least three times to be sure that this is correct in most cases you substitute at least three times so we have proven that it is not these two options the next is we substitute something else so we substitute one so the first quantity becomes one the other the quantity becomes two so this is correct so option d is correct because we have one option in which they are equal and the other option in which they are same so i hope this session proved to be useful please remember to check out other videos in the series thank you all